Well, hello there. My name is Nikita, and today let's take a look at Gverse Field Planner and how it can help you create field plans on your map really quickly. And in fact, we'll take less than 10 minutes to go through all the features. Let's get started. Gverse Field Planner will automatically lay out pads and wells all over the map given certain constraints. There are four of them here. We have geometry constraints, we have surface hazards on top, which are existing wells, existing pads, and places where you can't put a pad, such as hilly areas. You have subsurface hazards, which are wells underneath the earth where you can't plant new wells along, and you have lease areas, those restricted areas that you can't cross. Those are the areas that you own. So, initially you have a map, right? Once you have the map, we're going to go ahead and put in the surface hazards. This area in green are the areas that we just can't place pads on. There are restrictions. It could be environmental, or as I said, it could be hilly areas or existing wells on the surface. We, we also put a couple of blocks over here to represent pads that we cannot place any new wells on. All right, let's talk about subsurface hazards. These are wells that already exist in the area. So you have these wells, these wells, and these wells right here. We have placed buffer zones around them. So therefore, underneath the earth, we cannot place new wells in those areas. Third, we have lease areas. Notice the areas that are not grayed out. These areas that are visible, they are our valid lease lines. Therefore, we can place our wells there. But once we reach the boundaries, the wells have to be cut off. If we take all of these into account and we run Gverse Field Planner, what we get is this graph right here. As simulations run, the more iterations that take place, the better the results. Therefore, you get to see the cost of the wells go up because more wells are placed. In this example, we'll have 95 placed wells. And once we reach the conclusion, you see something like this. Let me show you how this works inside the software itself. Let's go back in our steps. Remember, step one, we need to generate the surface hazards. I have GeoAtlas open, I have the Strat satellite map, and I also have the Straton grid that I'm going to turn on. Perfect, let's go ahead and generate the hazards. I click over here, we'll use the dem file, and we will avoid areas that have slope of three or above. Click OK. And as you see, the purple areas are the hazard areas where we can't place any wells or pads. I can add random polygons to these hazards, so you are not limited. For example, let's go back, hit update, and we are going to add a shapefile. I select the shapefile, give it a, a buffer, so to speak, click add, update, and there you go. These zones I cannot put pads on. Let's update it again and put existing wells on the surface. These are surface, surface points, well base layer. I've selected all the well spots, and I will give it a radius of 200 feet, click add, update notice the circles so there we go let's take a look at the next step subsurface hazards let's put those into our application go back to here I select the well spots that I want to use it's the these these three over there and I select the target layer and I also want to offset 300 feet above and 300 feet below that that surface layer is where I want the hazard zone to be and I'm gonna give it a buffer of 200 feet click OK and there you go you have those buffers set up for you. So we cannot put our laterals over here. All right, the next step is going to be lease areas. Let's take a look at that. We simply go to lease planner, select, create a new one, and let's use an Esri shape file. We import that in, and from here, I'm just going to make everything as part of our lease. And you can also specify a setback. Click OK. There we go, you're very flexible. You can get rid of leases, you can get rid of tracts, you can also edit any setbacks in between that you want, but we'll keep it this way. Update, and there you go. The next step is to go ahead and run Gverse Field Planner. We start it up from here, we create a new plan, and we switch to Gverse Field Planner. There are a lot of options here. Uh, including the layout, how many wells per pad would you like, the lateral distance, the step out, even the economics you can take into account. And of course, we're going to use our surface hazard constraints that we created, the digital elevation model layer, the lease layer, and the subsurface hazards, and the target surface we're targeting. Let's go ahead and run this. And now it's automatically optimizing all those wells for you. Once you're done, you get something like this. The entire field is filled up, and if you notice, 
if I turn the leases back on, but also the hazards, none of the pads that you placed are on any of the hazard zones. And also take note that all the new laterals are avoiding the old wells. So we intelligently place new wells all over the map. And if we take a look into the 3D view, you'll see a full field populated with wells. Of course, in some areas, it's avoiding those areas because of our constraints. That's it, folks. That's Gverse Field Planner in under 10 minutes.